There are conflicting stories of how wealthy Elon was growing mm-hmm. up. Some say that Elon's dad, Errol, owned an emerald mine in Zambia. Mm. So Elon now says, no, my dad didn't own an emerald mine. Elon tweeted, I will pay a million Dogecoin, which, wow, that's wow. really good. That will be part mm. two. Yeah, so $5. But I will pay a million Dogecoin for proof of this mine's <laughs> existence. The fake emerald mine thing is so annoying, Sigh, he says. Sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Elon's dad himself, who is now estranged from Elon, says that... Why? Uh... Well, they fell out. But he says he says that Emerald Mine did exist. A lot of sons deny that... Who don't get along with their dads later than deny their father owned an Emerald Mine because it, you know, it brings up too many painful memories. My dad did try to start an Emerald Mine in our backyard, but he didn't get too far, and he just found a bunch of dog bones. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear. Yeah. Um, so, Mike, I think you're exactly right. Elon is, doesn't like this perception that maybe he was had an easy ride to get to where he is. Yeah. Um, speaking of Elon's dad, like I said, he's a bit of a nasty biatch. Um, <laughs> Elon, so, so you know, uh, Elon has told the Wall Street journal, journal that the biggest risk to civilization is the rapidly declining birth rate. Well, he might have gotten that point of view from his dad, who told the son in England, quote, the only thing we are on Earth for is to reproduce. Mm. Errol has seven children, but he also admitted it's quite conceivable he fathered many more because he was going out with different women every night in the 1980s. Hey, sounds like Chris Locke in the 2010s. Hey, how's it going, babe? What's your name again? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to undo my vasectomy and start making more babies. Yeah, you, you only have two. I mean... That sucks. Do, do you not realize the declining birth rate might lead to the collapse of our civilization? I what are you thinking? I think about it once while I was sitting at a dock in uh, at a cottage. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you get the vasectomy reversed? Yeah. Really? What yeah. do you do? It's just weird. It's like you have to be erect, and then the doctor has to put. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. It's just not like you know those little tiny black binder clips you get at Grand and Toy. Yeah. They just have to open up your scrotum and take those off of your tubes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyone listening remember Grand and Toy? I don't know what uh, it is now. Staples, yeah. I guess. Staples. Mike, you think you'd ever get a vasectomy? Um, yeah, I might do it for Christmas. I might uh, treat myself. Oh, 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 show me your dick. <laughs> if I, if I, Santa brought me a vasectomy. <laughs> if I had a kid and I felt confident I wouldn't want another or I chose to never have a kid, I guess I'd get it done. You know what I do? It's I, the best sex you've ever had in your life With when you're not scared of that issue. Oh, right, because you could just go, well, I'm not worried about wherever this goes. Let's just say for about the last five years... I've been re- having a really great time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to time my vasectomy for the exact moment that my son or daughter emerges from the womb of the mother so that right as the head comes out, they give me a vasectomy. I think that would be amazing to time it perfectly. As soon as your one baby is being born... You're in the bed next to your wife. Yeah. And as Both one of your legs are wide open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Two doctors, got... <laughs> one delivered the baby, one giving the vasectomy, both laughing their asses off. He's got ten toes and ten fingers. Cut them, boys. And then they, <laughs> they know the baby's okay. They give you a snip. Hold my hand, darling. <laughs> um, okay, There's so... something wrong with the baby. Should we still do the vasectomy? Go forward with the vasectomy. <laughs> the baby's fine. We're doing the vasectomy. Um, here's a dark thing. Uh, Elon's dad also fathered two children with his stepdaughter. So, oh, boo. very Woody Allen-y. Boo. Yes. Um, now, I guess to Elon's credit... I don't watch Elon's dad's movies anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess to Elon's credit, he did tell Rolling Stone, quote, my father was such a terrible human being, you have no idea. Almost every crime you can possibly think of... He has done, while, while tears every, were reportedly streaming down his face. Every crime? <laughs> yeah. Downloading movies. 
bestiality. <laughs> Genocide? <laughs> he, he literally says, again, almost every evil thing you could possibly think of, he has done. Okay. If yeah. you uh, are so, a European who owns a mine in Africa yeah. somewhere, or Zambia, are you kind of participating in a genocide type of behavior? I'd say yeah. You're, there's an us and them thing happening. Probably, yeah. With terrible conditions. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, back to Elon's life. Um, <clears throat> so his parents divorced, and he did become estranged from his dad. Daddy. <laughs> um, May Musk said that her son was shy and awkward at school and didn't have many friends. Is oh. she hot for real? Yeah. Elon's mom? I don't know. She was a like a Vogue model or like on the cover of... Uh, you ever seen May Musk? She still models. I can't remember. I probably have, but that's why that's how where Elon got his looks from, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, his mm -hmm. amazing looks. Yeah, AI face, I call it. <laughs> this is it her. is. Well, there's a picture of May Musk. I mean, people at home not going to see it, but um, you can Google wi along with us if you want to. Chris is just peeking at Mike's phone, and she's beautiful. Okay. Um, that would drive my mother crazy as well. So Elon was often bullied in school. In one incident, Elon was se Elon was severely beaten after calling a boy whose father had committed suicide stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so edge lord behavior at if a young age. Yeah. If you're Actually, I think he called the father who committed suicide stupid or something like that. Oh my right. god. It's stupid. Your dad committed suicide? He's stupid. Yeah. You did stupid. Yeah, and then he was beaten nearly to death. And then didn't his didn't this happen when his parents were still together? Because Elon Musk has told an anecdote like, "My father told me that um, that what that kid did was right or something." Like his hmm. father was like, "Well, you deserve it." Interesting. I mean, his dad's kind of right. You can't <laughs> buying Twitter and <clears throat> and then changing it to a shitty website called X and then losing millions and millions of dollars seems like something. Um, like it just. <clears throat> You could, you could just tell he was brutally bullied just from that whole business oh, move. Oh, absolutely. His entire persona. It was crazy. And like you were alluding to, if you if you see pictures of him from like 20 years ago, he's, you know, I mean, he's just, I, I don't like making fun of people's looks. He's just a regular yeah. looking dude, but he's clearly done a lot of work on his face to yeah. look different. You know? And hair. And hair. Yeah. He looks amazing now. <laughs> <laughs> At the age of... He got chest implants. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, it's about... To, we, if anyone's we wondering what the women getting, about. We accept women getting breast implants. Maybe we should accept men doing it, too. If Absolutely. anyone's kind of wondering what we're referring to, there's one picture of him sideways in a wet bathing suit. Yeah, it came out like a dock. year or two ago. Mm -hmm. And we just laugh because, yeah, we don't want to make fun of anybody's looks, too. But this is Elon, all right? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, his chest seems to... Weirdly, be it's like a he's foot a... farther away. <laughs> Did you ever play a, like a foot more out than regular chess? Nintendo sixty four, or PlayStation one. It's like his body is a polygon yeah. from like Goldeneye. It's and he's, odd. He's yeah. like a new shade of white. Like he's yeah. so pale. He's bringing a new, uh, whole new shade. Yeah, he's yeah. bringing not sexy back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So Elon is ten, and he developed an interest in computing and video games. Oh. Yeah, so did I. At the age of 12, Elon sold a game he made called Blastar to PC and Office Technology Magazine for $500. That's dope. Is it about blasting semen into onto an egg and then reproducing as much as possible? <laughs> Blastar! I don't know. And that's what he says when he does it? <laughs> Blasty. <laughs> so, how about this? You know I always look for little Canadian details, because we're, we're Canadian as three. At the 100th Meridian! Um, and around high school age, Elon applied for a Canadian passport. Oh, that would have been cool if he lived here. But yeah. the, well, he did. But you know what pisses oh. me the frig off? He, I don't think he really that much wanted to live in Canada. He wasn't interested in the yeah, Rocky he went Mountains. He like Queens or something, right? Well, yes, but he basically got a. <laughs> and I'm ruining it. He basically <laughs> got a passport to make it easier to eventually get to the U.S. Screw you, Elon. Stay here, Elon. Yeah. Stay stuck in Canada like us. 
<laughs> so Musk arrived in Canada in June of 89, and he lived with his second cousin in Saskatchewan for a year. Hey, I must have missed that season of Corner Gas. <laughs> Uh, a year later, or 1990 anyway, he um, he started attending Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. Oh. Home of the Tragically Hip. Wow, that university's reference. produced just amazing person after amazing person. <laughs> Who else went there? All sorts of people. Well, <laughs> what are you saying? I mean, is there another <laughs> reference? Um, okay. Two years, uh, after two years at Queen's in Kingston, uh, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania. Ah. And uh, apparently Elon used to host large house parties to help pay his tuition. That's cool. Those must have been so fun and also crazy. <laughs> um, in 1994, Elon got a couple internships at Silicon Valley mm. and thus began his career. Well, he's a, he's a hard worker, I guess. He definitely is. And I thought at this point I should, because you might wonder, how did Elon go from, you know, maybe he has some family wealth, but I don't think... It, even in a best case scenario, I don't know if it was crazy. But it was his father owned a, like shares in an emerald mine. It's been established, though, right? Well, no, not a hundred percent. And it and but he and said the, it to Forbes. <laughs> it's true. And the like, well, his father described gone. the money he made from the mine. It, I don't know that it was like I don't think they were billionaires or hundred millionaires or something. He might have had some money, but not like right, not like what he had. Um, not, nothing like a extremely rich person, as far as I can tell. But anyway, so in 1995, Musk, his brother Kimball, <laughs> and another guy. Kimball's the one who wears the cowboy hat. Oh, I've never seen him. <laughs> that sounds cool. like Randy Ford. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, There's always a cowboy hat brother. Absolutely. I have a brother in law who wears a cowboy hat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was at the wedding. That's right. Yeah. So I do you, he was you guys. Security. Have... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Mike. Um, do you guys have any brothers or brothers in law who wear a cowboy hat? Oh, I, Terrence. I can, I can I see Terrence rocking one. Sometimes, at, I mean, for fun. Uh, probably on Halloween, maybe he would wear one. Sure. But we, I think we own. I think he has one somewhere at home. Anyway. Okay. Because we, we grew up in Alberta a bit, where people genuinely, without irony, wore cowboy hats around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have listeners in Austin. Yeah. You think you think that these guys in Austin they know all about that? Um. Shout out to cowboy hats. So this company. Elon made with his brother and another guy. It was called Zip2, and uh, it was basically an internet city guide with maps, directions, and yellow pages, and it was marketed toward newspapers. So Elon's dad provided them with $28,000 in funding for this, which is kind of crazy because to start this podcast, we got $28,000 from uh, Mike's aunt and uncle uh, from Quebec in the... Right? Yeah, we just had to spend the night in their old haunted house. Yeah. And then we got the money. The Yeah, yeah the start. one who had the bumper sticker about if the oh, band's, band's rocking. Don't yeah. yeah. Aunt Anne and Uncle John. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aunt Anne who looked like Roy Orbison and my Uncle John <laughs> oh, yeah. who was French Canadian and had like 16 heart attacks. Right. They yeah. gave us $30,000 yeah. uh, also. I got 16 heart attacks. Um, so Elon and his brother and this other guy worked at a small office in Palo Alto and Musk was coding the website every night. It was successful. They got a contract with the New York Times. And in 1999, the company was bought for $300 million. And uh, Musk got $22 million for his percentage. Pretty good. Uh, later that year, Musk founded X.com with some of that money. X. Ring X. a bell? He X. loves that letter. Um, so this was like an online financial services and email payment company. Uh that company merged with an online bank that had a money transfer service called PayPal. Hmm. The board uh, ousted Musk as CEO because he didn't have a cohesive business model, <laughs> and they replaced him with Peter Thiel or Teal. Peter Thiel, yeah. Who could easily be a subject? Mm -hmm. He is a, I think, a dirtbag. Um, allegedly, allegedly. So under Thiel, this company focused on the money transfer aspect, mm. and it was renamed PayPal in 2001. Um, one year later, PayPal was acquired by eBay for $1.5 in stock, of which Musk received $175 million. So, I mean, he's getting rich pretty fast. I guess he was definitely a right, time, right place, right time kind of guy, mm -hmm. getting in at the boom of all this stuff and just getting paid insane amounts of money after a couple of years. But he is... 
computer uh, nerd, <laughs> yes. but maybe bad, no business acumen. Elon? Yeah. Well, I think he does have you, something. We can't. You were a fan of his for quite a while. I was never a fan. Yeah, big but fan. I, <laughs> You know what? You loved him for a oh, very long here we time. Go. I definitely <laughs> didn't. But when I'm doing the research, I'm not going to lie. No comment. <laughs> Please. But I'm not going to lie. You up for him all the time. Every time he said, this guy's doing this bad thing again. No. You know what happened? It's when, because James likes space. That's true. But when, at the, when he offered help. And driverless I, cars. I do. Well, not if they're going to kill everybody. Right. They keep running over kids, right? Ah, we'll get to it. We'll okay, get to okay, it. Go, go, go. But my point is, I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. We can't even if I don't like him, I'm not going to lie. Like you're yeah. not a, you're probably not doing these things if you're an idiot. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he got fired for having no yes. organized business plan. That's well, that's just what I'm But he doing. yeah, but I guess you're probably good at business if you're constantly flipping, you know, getting 10 million and turning it into 100 million and getting 100 million and turning it into a billion. Better you're you're probably me, yeah. not stupid. You're better than me. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. But he was not working for PayPal anymore. No, he was. I think he just but wasn't he the wasn't CEO. Because he'd been, he but he was, been, he but was he wasn't let in go. On the, like, yeah, he got the payout from eBay buying them. That's not his business maneuver, though. Do you see what I'm saying? I do, but I think he was part of the like, like creation of the company exactly. that led it to be bought for. But uh, he's involved in the creation from the technical side. Because it's his idea. I see what you mean. So, I mean, maybe you know this and I missed it, but no, no. just because he was outed as CEO, I don't know that he wasn't still involved in a business way. Eh, I'm just trying to guess. <laughs> I don't know shit. Okay. But I get I just, what you're saying. I just think what he did with Twitter, which we'll get to way, 100% way later, idiot. idiocy. like a driverless car. I'm just trying to be objective. <laughs> like Twitter was a driver. Like once he took over Twitter, it was like a driverless social media app. Yeah, like insane. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next step in his career, okay? Next thing, SpaceX. This is James's favorite. And this is why he'll always uh he'll die for Elon Musk. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Musk has was long convinced that for a life to survive, humanity has to become a multi-planet species. <laughs> so And you know what? <laughs> I think that but I don't I mean, have any money. Well, wait help. till this Patreon really takes off. Yeah, good call. See, there's your business acumen. Absolutely. So, with a hundred million of his own money, uh, Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with the goal of making affordable rockets. Subscribe to the Evil Man Patreon. Then we can also help humans get to other planets. That's right. And you know what? I can't fault Musk for wanting to make affordable rockets. Like. If you the price of rockets is insane these days, mm. thanks to inflation. Like, yeah. thank you, Mr. Trudeau. Yeah, it's not a fantastic idea to grow up imagining that this planet Earth doesn't have much longer for human sustaining humans. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think, to be honest, it's interesting and understandable that he was excited by that idea and used money to follow through in some sort of making some sort of sci-fi fantasy half reality as far as we know right now i think if you look at 2023 him it feels revolting what he spends his yeah. immense wealth on but yeah. as someone with like a billion dollars being like i have some uh, weird like aspiration that i don't i really have a problem with it at this point yeah, like when his bio came out, it was really popular. It was like all the staff picks at uh, Indigo for a while in chapters. <laughs> picks. Where Heather's he has his hands like folded in a temple and he's like thinking of something magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> for the most part, he was still really thought of as like, yeah, this insane science genius who had these grand visions. Yeah. Even though some of them were laughable, like trips to Mars. And What if I could take my shit off on Mars? Yeah, but it is true. It's weird. It's like retroactively now looking back, it's hard to well, he has so much remember that. He has so much power and wealth now, and he's revealed himself to be such an idiot. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I don't have a problem at this point, R really. He's just a weird yeah, ultra-capitalist uh, guy. 
So he actually traveled to Russia to try to buy some intercontinental ballistic missiles, <laughs> which is crazy. But to he, ride to Mars? <laughs> <laughs> but he did. it didn't pan out, so he made his own rockets. Hmm. In the first few years, the company went almost went bankrupt, and a lot went wrong with the rockets. But, but that doesn't mean he's not good at business. That's true. Well, what do you think it does? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm trying to learn. Okay. Eventually, they got a rocket into orbit in 2008, and this coincided with NASA deciding to make less of their own stuff and use the private sector more for their NASA missions. So NASA paid him $1.6 billion to use the rocket he made for 12 flights going to the space station. Um, now, obviously, there's a major financial success there, but not all has been rosy with SpaceX. Oh, tell, do tell. In April of 2023, <laughs> SpaceX's Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, exploded midair mm -hmm. before stage separation. While the explosion occurred about four minutes after liftoff, the company still considered the launch a successful failure because the rocket got off the ground. Musk tweeted, Congrats at SpaceX team on an exciting test launch of Starship. Learned a lot for the next one in a few months. And there were no reports of injuries or property damage because of the failure, but there could have been. So it's sort of crazy to be like, woo, we did it. And like, yeah. you know. What year was it that he launched his, his own Tesla into space with the, yeah. dump, the mannequin yeah. called Starman? And then like, it's still floating around the yeah. universe right like now. It's like junk. Was it just like an ad for, for Tesla, basically? <sighs> yeah, I, I forgot to write that down, but I came across it. Yeah, no, he was just trying out a rocket and thought it would be like epic to send a Tesla with, like, a crash test dummy into space. <laughs> Let um, me put it this way, the point I was trying to make earlier. Mm. I wish you had these billions of dollars, James. Thanks. You have the same sci-fi vision, but you don't seem as much a the goddamn idiot. idiot. Here, I like that. And That's what I'll, I'm trying I'll to explain say. To you, I'll explain to you the, <laughs> I like the, that too. the structure. Because then also give me a billion dollars. Well, uh, yeah. The structure of how I've done this is... Uh, I... I'm giving his business successes to explain how he went from, like, even if it's a lot of money to us, a, a relatively small amount of money to a massive amount. So it's like you can't right. deny the business successes regardless of. But yeah. in addition to that, there's an incredible amount of idiocy and stupid things, and he's a dink. Yeah. But I'm just telling you the business successes because I feel like it's part of why he's so famous. Yeah. Let's go. I'll tell you Tesla. His other most well-known business venture. Um, started it up in 2004 as a major funder, started slow. By 2020, it became the most valuable car maker in the world. 2021, it reached a market capitalization of a trillion dollars, the sixth company in U.S. history to do so. In 21, he sold 10% of Tesla for $16 billion. Um, like SpaceX, there have been a lot of te issues with Tesla, though. <laughs> for years, Musk has said that self-driving cars are about a year away. Mm. And Tesla vehicles do now have some self-driving ability, but apparently there have been hundreds of crashes involving Tesla self-driving and dozens of deaths. Um, a leading lawyer in one of the several ongoing lawsuits against Tesla said, quote, Tesla is marketing and trying to sell you a product that doesn't exist. At no point during the marketing and sale of these vehicles was Tesla even remotely close to having a vehicle that was going, going to be fully self-driving. And that's true today. And they also, aside from that, aside from the computer just driving into a into a, a wall and killing the person inside, don't they just like spontaneously burst into flames, like yeah. the batteries? Or yeah. I was just I saw an article that this summer, because the Tesla everything runs if the only if the computer is working, right. including the doors. Wow! So like mankind solved the problem of the door with the doorknob thousands of years ago, right? <laughs> and the Tesla, you can't open or close it unless it, the, it's pa the power is on. And there was a story of like a 73-year-old man in Arizona during a heat wave trapped inside his Tesla who couldn't get out because the, the battery had died. Oh, my God. So the computer system wasn't working. And he had to like, I think, look at the manual or something. And there was like hidden under the window. There was some sort of like uh, latch that where you could press to open the door. But it's just not like oh, op open the door mechanically. 
No, it's it's well, it's like when we went to that cottage a couple years ago, yes. and we, we didn't realize, but it was like a smart cottage. Yeah. You couldn't turn on the light without an iPad. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind like gadgets is, are can be fun, but you're like, this is so stupid. We can't go to bed. We can't turn off a light because we can't find the iPad. <laughs> if a murderer breaks in, we have to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but you know what? <clears throat> I also find funny about these super. And the and the Tesla truck thing or whatever. Oh yeah, like, cyber truck. Cyber <laughs> truck and like, and the Teslas are like these super, like yeah, cyber futuristic cars. They're still running on big rubber tires. To me, that's so funny because like to have a future car, it should be like floating or flying it. <clears throat> like that's how they act like they are. Yeah, but they're still. A vehicle on big, heavy rubber tires. Yeah. Does that make sense? Do you get the humor you, you in that? You look at rubber as old tech. <clears throat> Very old tech. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? I did have an Uber driver who was driving a Tesla, and he was telling me that I, I didn't think they could do this. And it feels insane, but he said, like, if he goes to the mall, he, he'll stop, like, at the at the door of the mall, get out, and I, I think he you know, presses a button where the car will go park itself. And then when he gets out of the mall, he presses a button and the car pulls out Explodes. of its parking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, heard they can self park and then meet you like a apparently, dog. Apparently, but wow, it seemed. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. It seems I know crazy a Tesla to me. owner. My neighbors have two, actually. Whoa. And I, I heard that apparently, like if you get into a big barroom fight in a saloon. <laughs> And then you have to escape to the second <laughs> story of the saloon. Yeah. And you run to a window and you're trapped. Uh, your enemies who are you're fighting are right behind you and they think they've got you cornered. Oh my God. If you whistle with your index and your pinky, the Tesla shows up below the window and you can jump onto it and ride away like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, weren't you saying that... Um, remember, like, uh, you know, you were... Back when you were single, you were getting with all these housewives. Yeah. And like when their husbands would come home, you'd often like get your Tesla to stand outside the window. And yeah. 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 It was a way to. Those escape. were the great old, old days of me being with housewives all the time. <laughs> there were so many times where I was in the middle of having, you know, passion with the woman. Yeah. Having passion. Having passion. <laughs> and then we would knock over a pile or two of just folded laundry. I always remember that knocking laundry over yeah. while make, making passion with these ladies. That's man, you got to write a book. <laughs> is Tesla? They it is has an insane value, or whatever, on the stock market. Yeah. Or it did because but, it it felt like it, there was a point where like sorry to interrupt you, but I felt like it was very trendy among progressive people and like people you know. If you went to L.A., you'd feel like every sort of rich studio guy had a Tesla. Like, it was right. a status symbol for, I think, it feels like to me, progressive people to a point. Right. And then the complete flip. And is it one of those things like... A lot like of people flip during Trump. It was during Trump. Do you remember we mm -hmm. noticed that? Mm -hmm. And during his relationship with Grimes getting rocky. Mm -hmm. So it's like but a man scorned. Oh, yeah. But can I say, is Tesla one of those things... Like Uber or uh, any m most like big app startups that it has still yet to like turn a profit and still like running on the projections of what it mm. might do one day. Mm -hmm. Where it's like I don't know, and I feel like he must have benefited from this from all his businesses. Where it's like that's why I said like right place, right time. Mm -hmm. Like no, no, you were right. I was just trying to be funny before. <laughs> He's really good at business. I'm sorry I said that. I was just trying to find but a joke what I thread. just what I just said was saying that he's also no, but now you can earlier you convinced me so now I'm okay. sticking up for his business acumen. Okay, well, I was just great contribution. <laughs> I was trying to be funny before I thought I found a thread, but maybe he is really good at business. He's good at getting it's not a lots fluke. of money from I, I the government. I don't know. I, I don't know, but that I mean, twelve point eight billion from NASA was not a fluke. <laughs> what do you want to? I mean, NASA, it, NASA. <laughs> Um, Wait, can I say something? I was literally <laughs> just trying to be funny before. I don't fucking know okay. any about this shit. Mm. Um, but also, mm. like, what in sort of the same league as what Mike is saying, mm. has he he never mentions going to Mars anymore? Does he? 
or terraforming he, it or anything like that? I think like he that? does. I think does he? he does. Oh, okay, but okay. it's similar to the Tesla thing where he says, oh, self-driving cars are a year away. He's said for years, like, oh, in 2020, yeah. we'll have a person on Mars and 2025. And like, it does feel yeah. like another ambitious thing that probably won't. I don't it think feels he's going like to do. We're on Mars in 2023, but we're not. <laughs> it was the point. hottest world uh, record uh, temperatures this year. Yeah. Mars coming soon to Earth. Uh, Chris, I mean, you're completely right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can I add? <laughs>